controversial clerk remains in jail for not issuing marriage licenses. We'll have the latest on Rowan County Clerk Kim Davis. Three young men accused of shooting and killing a man in Duncan Park last year pled guilty today in court. We'll have the details. Well, it's a scorcher out there once again for this Friday. We head off into your weekend and we have small changes. I'll explain those coming up. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News at 430. Good afternoon to you. Amber Philpott and Jennifer Palumbo reporting. Marriage licenses are now being issued to all couples in Rowan County. Deputy clerks agreed to obey a judge's order and issue licenses to same sex couples, while County Clerk Kim Davis remains in jail for contempt. Miranda Combs has the latest in our top story at 4 30. This is the sixth time James Yates and William Smith Jr. tried to get a marriage license in Rowan County, Kentucky. Friday, they finally got yeah, one. Sign. You'll sign here. William will sign here. Yates and Smith are the first same sex couple to come here since a judge jailed county clerk Kim Davis for refusing to comply with his order. Davis is a born again Christian and says God's moral law prevents her from issuing licenses to same sex couples. A large crowd gathered in front of the courthouse just as it was opening to see who would be the first to get a marriage license. Supporters cheered while many backed Kim Davis. Well, I don't think people should have to go through all this. The judge plans to revisit his decision to jail Davis in a week. This afternoon, Davis's attorney met with her inside the Carter County Detention Center. They say they plan to appeal the contempt order. She has no intention to resign. She will continue to serve the people of Rowan County as she has done for so many years. And number two, she will never violate her conscience and never betray her God. The attorneys also say they consider the licenses issued this morning to be void because they weren't issued with her authority. That was Miranda Combs reporting. The sixth clerk in the office, Davis's son, is refusing to issue licenses to same sex couples. A bridge over Harrington Lake is now closed for emergency repairs. State transportation cabinet leaders say inspectors found significant deterioration of a deck support on the Kennedy Mill Bridge between Garrett and Mercer counties. No word on how long repairs will take, but detours are in place. State Highway 152 uses the bridge to cross the lake. We'll have more on how this could affect travelers during the holiday weekend on WKYT News at 6. Well, this weekend is the unofficial end of summer, but it sure won't feel like summer is ending here in the bluegrass. Yeah, you can expect these steamy conditions to stick around for all of your Labor Day plans. We'll check in now with meteorologist Micah Harris. Hi, Micah. Hey, good afternoon, guys. Yeah, it's just not changing whatsoever. You got the heat, you got the humidity, and also that pop up shower or thunderstorm action that's been going on the past few days. Still going on today. We got one over in Morgan County heading right toward West Liberty. It's not much to them, but remember, you're going to get heavy downpours, some lightning along with them, but no severe weather. And one just to the north of West Liberty along Highway 7. Another one we got to be watching out for coming down Highway 11 toward Beattyville. Uh, that's an area that's going to be seeing that here in the next 15 to 20 minutes. Frankfort Cam at 93 degrees, guys. It is an absolute scorcher outside at this moment. And it looks like we're going to continue on as we head off into your weekend, too. Planning your Saturday. It's a big day. It's like Christmas Eve around here. I mean, finally football is here, and we're at 86 degrees there by 2 p.m. noon around 84. So that tells you, I mean, we're really going to warm very rapidly. The past few days, what you felt, what you've seen, it's exactly what you're going to get tomorrow there for tailgating. Keep that in mind. It's going to be extremely humid, and also that small chance of rain there in the forecast, especially during that afternoon hour. The good news here, guys, is that the game's at 7 p.m. So once that sun starts setting, that energy leaves. And now those rain chances really decrease big time. We'll get into your Sunday and into your Monday forecast in just a few minutes. All right, Micah, thank you. Three men accused of shooting and killing a man in Alexandria Park last year all pled guilty in court today. The three entered guilty pleas in the death of 21 year old Antonio Franklin. WKYT's Monique Blair is at the courthouse with the new information. Well, Jennifer and Amber, after today's court hearing, all four men arrested and charged in connection to the 2014 shooting death of 21 year old Antonio Franklin have pleaded guilty to lesser charges. None of them are charged with murder. Now, 18 year old Nashim Dixon pleaded guilty to reduced charges of manslaughter second degree and two counts of wanton endangerment. Nashim's cousin, 18 year old William Dixon, pleaded guilty to reduced charges of two counts of wanton endangerment. 18-year-old Brian Brown, who is out on bond. 
Bond also pleaded guilty to reduce charges of two counts of wanton endangerment. Today, Judge Pamela Goodwine asked the men what happened the day Antonio Franklin was shot to death. They say it was a physical fight that originally started over a girl and eventually led them to Duncan Park, where shots were fired. I didn't know what was going to happen at the time, so I just acted off the most. You didn't know what was going to happen at the time. You saw him and you acted on impulse. Because somebody who had nothing to do with your beef, somebody who had nothing to do with you, you, Damian Sanders, Brian Brown, or George Searcy, has lost his life. Now, last week during a court hearing, we learned it was the bullet from Damian Sanders' gun that eventually killed Antonio Franklin. But, but Sanders says he was just defending himself from the three men who were in court today. Now, all three men who were in court today will have their formal sentencing hearing in October. Reporting live in Lexington, Monique Blair, WKYT. Damian Sanders pleaded guilty last week to second degree manslaughter and was sentenced to seven years. A man is in the hospital after being stabbed several times in Lexington. He was found inside a car on New Circle Road near the Harrodsburg Road exit ramp. Police are still trying to figure out when the man was attacked. The victim was able to tell them he did not know his attacker. Forensic units collected samples from the car. A former University of Kentucky student has been murdered in Texas. Police say 35-year-old Dr. Kendra Hatcher, who attended UK's dental school, was found shot to death in a parking garage. Authorities are now searching for a Jeep Cherokee and a driver who they consider to be a person of interest in the case. A longtime friend of Dr. Hatcher says she found out about her friend's death when she turned on the TV. And it was on the TV. And I saw her picture pop up. And then they said her name. She was so helpless, she couldn't even do anything, and they shot her and just left her there. Foley says she thinks whoever killed Hatcher knew her or was linked to her somehow. Hatcher grew up in Illinois. Her brother says she loved her job and loved volunteering in Latin America. We're learning more about plans for a film on the life of comedian Lucille Ball. That's ahead in Ion and Entertainment.